Hello and welcome to some more information from Toolcraft Plastics. We're your full service plastic injection moulding supplier. We're based in Swindon and we're a family run business with a lifetime of experience. Today I'd like to tell you a little about plastic injection moulding facts and figures. Plastic is one of the most widely used materials we have and is in popular use in many different forms in all aspects of our personal and professional lives. Its applications are virtually limitless plastic demand and consumption and its economic importance. British Plastics Federation figures show that the UK produces approximately 2.5 million tonnes of plastics raw materials and uses over 5 million tonnes of plastic each year. Rubber and plastic products in the UK make up 7% of all UK manufacturing production. The plastic sector in turn helps to keep the chemical sector buoyant by accounting for 7.5% of the UK demand for chemicals. The UK plastics industry has a sales turnover of approximately £19 billion per year and employs around 180,000 people. Of the 7,500 UK plastics industry companies, 3,000 use melt processing of plastics raw materials and produce semi-finished or finished goods. The biggest uses for plastic in the UK include packaging which accounts for 38% of plastic use and construction products which account for 22% of plastic use. Melt processing of plastics and plastic injection moulding. Plastic injection moulding is a kind of melt processing. Melt refers to the need to actually melt plastic granules, also known as resin, in an injection moulding machine in order to produce the plastic product or component. Plastic injection moulding is a process that accounts for nearly half the production of plastic. The types of materials used in plastic injection moulding are often abbreviated because of some of the long and sometimes complicated chemical names. These materials include acrylonitrile butadiene styrene or ABS, nylon PA, polycarbonate PC, polypropylene PP and polystyrene GPPS. Many different types of products are made using plastic injection moulding, ranging from precision components to consumer goods. We come into contact with many of the products produced by plastic injection moulding on a daily basis. Injection moulded products include phone handsets, the bumpers, dashboards and other visible plastic parts of our vehicles, the disposable razors we use to shave with, and even our household wash basins and wheelie bins. Plastic injection moulding allows large amounts of identical items to be produced quickly and is much less labour intensive than, for example, vacuum forming. This is because the plastic injection moulding machine carries out the whole process of producing each plastic part or product. How does plastic injection moulding work? The basic plastic injection moulding process works as follows. The plastic injection moulding machine has a heated barrel with a reciprocating screw inside. Plastic granules are fed into the heated barrel via a hopper on the top of the machine. The heating of the barrel and the force of the friction of the screw, which is driven by a hydraulic motor, melt the plastic into a molten liquid form. The plastic is forced forward by the screw into the plastic injection moulding tool. This tool is essentially a metal mould which has a cavity in the shape of the part or component that needs to be produced. The tool is made from hardened and plated steel or aluminium alloy and is used over and over again to produce many consistent versions of the same part. A multi-impression tool has multiple cavities and can produce several components from the same single injection. The plastic polymer is injected under pressure into the mould tool. The tool is held closed under pressure until the plastic material cools and sets hard in the mould tool cavity. The screw starts to move back for the next moulding. The tool then opens and the finished plastic part is ejected. The tool is closed and the injection moulding process starts again. What about the environmental impact of plastics? We often hear about the many negative aspects of, for example, pollution from plastic that has not been recycled, has ended up as litter on land and in the sea. Worries about the non-biodegradable nature of many plastics. The fact is that the resilience, durability, strength and flexibility of plastics are some of the main reasons why they are so useful to us. Progress is being made in creating biodegradable plastic products, for example, food bags for recycling and carrier bags. Laws, regulations and targets to reduce landfill 
and promote recycling domestically and commercially are now having a major positive effect on how we deal with plastic waste products. Approximately one quarter of the plastic we use is now being recovered and recycled and this number is steadily increasing over time. There are also many positive environmental aspects to plastics and plastic manufacturing, including advances in engineering technology mean that injection moulding machinery now uses 20% to 50% less energy compared to 10 years ago. The lightweight nature of plastic relative to alternative materials means that it keeps down the weight of the products that it's used in. In the case of aircraft and road vehicles, this can translate into fuel and energy savings. The effectiveness of plastic insulation materials in buildings, such as expanded polystyrene, EPS, help save energy and money. Plastics are used extensively in double glazing and renewable energy products, and therefore help to save and produce energy. Plastic injection moulding is a vital process in manufacturing, with benefits for the UK economy and the environment, as well as our daily lives. I hope this has been of interest to you. To get in touch with us for more information, including requesting your free information pack, please use the contact form on toolcraft.co.uk or call 01793 641 040 now.